Hi everyone, in this quick tutorial I'm gonna share the easiest method of creating this cube you see in Framer. Uh, we can rotate to see it better actually. I tried a few ways and I think this rotation based method is the easiest one. You can find the link for the file in the description below if you want to remix and practice. I will also animate this cube in upcoming tutorials so stay tuned if you like to see that and let's get started. First I'm gonna create a square frame holding shift, name it cube and change its width to 200 and uh, I'm going to change its color to blue from my styles uh, actually let me center this then I will duplicate the cube frame name it F since this is gonna be the front side of our cube and carry it into the cube frame and change its opacity to 0.5 and add the brightness under filters and leave its value at default since we're going to change it in the end. Then I will make sure its rotate properties set to 3D and I will select the cube frame and remove its fill. I need to have also a rotate property for it set to 3D since while we are creating our cube sides we need to rotate our cube frame to be able to see the sides more comfortably. I also need to add a reserve 3D to keep every element that this cube frame includes in the same 3d space and I'm gonna add a perspective property change it to 500 and as I said I need to rotate our cube frame minus 30 degrees around the x-axis and minus 40 around the y-axis now we can create other sides of our cube copying and rotating the front side so I will select the F frame duplicate it and name it L for left in order to rotate L frame properly to create the left side we need to enter zero for its x origin value so i'm gonna add an origin property and enter zero for its x origin now that the rotation's origin is at the point we need we can rotate it 90 degrees around the y-axis like so to uh, create the left side of our cube right i'm gonna duplicate the front side once more but before that since we are going to use the origin value almost while creating every side of our cube i'm gonna add an origin value before doing that then i'm going to duplicate the front side once more and name it r for right since it is gonna be the right side of our cube and this time i'm going to make its x origin 100% to create the right side of our cube and now I need to rotate it minus 90 degrees around the y-axis now we can create the top side of our cube so after duplicating the front side I'm gonna name the new frame T for top and uh, make its y origin 0 and its x rotation minus 90 to create the top side in order to create the bottom side of our cube, again after duplicating the front side, I'm gonna name it BTM for bottom and make its Y origin 100% and its X rotation 90 degrees. Lastly, uh, actually, let me zoom in a little more. To create the back side of our cube, I'm gonna one last time duplicate the F frame we have and name it B and this time I need a depth property and I need to make it minus 200 to create the back side of our cube. Now that we have completed all sides of our cube we can select our wrapping cube frame and change its rotation to see all sides of our cube right also around the x-axis etc. Actually, uh, I will apply a trick that I saw in a file that's shared at Framer University channel in a great 3D fundamentals and Framer tutorial, which I'm sharing the link of in the description. I'm gonna add different brightness values for each side of our cube to be able to see the cube better. We can add also a border like so but adding different brightnesses for sides works much better. So I'm gonna do that. Now we can select our cube frame 
and rotate it again to see our cube better, right? Hope you liked the tutorial. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna create some other tutorials using this cube in some UI and animating it. If you like to see that, uh, be sure to subscribe and turn the notifications on. So see you in the next one.